Hi, I'm Jason Mears. I'm a lead architect and a CTO ambassador at VMware, and I'm going to talk about servers, virtual machines, containers, and Kubernetes. So I'm going to start with servers. Um, if we were going to build three applications, we would generally have bought three sets of hardware. And on the hardware, we would have installed an operating system. any dependencies or libraries and then the app itself and our unit of measurement would have been this here would be A server. Uh, when we now move on to things like virtual machines, we would still have a piece of hardware, but on top of that, we would stick a hypervisor which would allow us to install multiple operating systems with multiple dependencies and then on top multiple apps so here we have three times hardware three times operating system and three times dependency and app on this model, we only have one lot of hardware. We still have three times the operating system, and we still have three times the dependency and app. But now our unit of measurement is this here, which is the virtual machine. We now move on to doing something with containers and something like Docker on top of a hypervisor. Same thing again, we have the hardware here. We have the hypervisor. And then here we're gonna stick Docker, which is our OS layer. And on top of this, we're gonna put any dependencies for the apps um, and now we have one set of hardware one OS and three times dependency and app. So when we move from this side, what, what we've done here to here is we've shrunk the amount of hardware. We've gone from three servers to one servers, but we still have three operating systems, three sets of dependencies and apps. When we move to here on container, we now have one set of hardware, one operating system, and just three lots of dependencies and apps. So our unit of management has now moved to be the container. So we're, we're ab abstracting and streamlining all the way we go. The only thing to add here is that once we have lots and lots of these containers, at some point we need a more sophisticated way of managing these. And that's when something like Kubernetes is required over the top to keep on track and manage all these containers. The next step from that is having multiple deployments of Kubernetes and for that we do Tanzu mission control so just to do that one last time we move from servers 
we were managing multiple lots of hardware operating systems, dependencies and apps, to virtual machines where we minimise the hardware and now focus on virtual machines, to containers where we minimise the hardware and the operating systems and now just focus on applications and dependencies. Once we've got lots of containers, we're going to use something like Kubernetes to manage that. And once we've got lots of Kubernetes clusters, we need something like Tangier Mission Control to do fleet management of Kubernetes. Thank you very much for your time.